What's up everybody? This is Gamer CJE and today we're back here in Gamer Grove and we're going to be building a new residential area. Probably fairly large, going to use up a lot of this area. Don't want to get too close to the airport because we don't we want to avoid that noise pollution as much as possible. Pollution, noise pollution. So probably the closest we're going to want to get is somewhere like this. So this area here is where we're going to be adding in some more residential zoning. I think we're going to continue with the low density zoning like we've done up here and continue in a similar grid pattern how it is currently and we're going to be using the same road type and everything. We're just going to continue all the way down to say uh, probably there is as far as we want to go south and we will continue to just use these uh, connections all around us so we don't have to mess around with any highways or anything see how this goes. I'm just going to continue this same grid pattern. And I suppose I should really do a curved connection right there so it looks better. And we might as well add a, a little line there an imaginary line where past it all the connections are curved connections into that other roadway because that would be pretty neat might look cool I think we may have overshot how big we need this area to be, but for the moment I'm still just going to roll with it and see how it looks. We may just make it smaller. And I might also put in another one of these straight lines right here. To kind of make driving around town a little bit easier. It does help the traffic a lot if you provide a, a way for them to go more often. It also helps with your fire protection. That way you don't have to have quite as many fire stations. You get better coverage. If you add more, well, not really add more, if you add the, the right number of connections. I feel like these might be kind of unnecessary over on the side here. We do really need to add in another connection over here, but picking the right place for it. Uh, let's see. You know what? It might be... The right connection might be right here somewhere. Just like that. Yeah, I like that. I think that, I think that worked out pretty good. And... We can't quite do the same thing right here, I don't think. 
No. That's a bummer. That would have been neat. All right. Well, I believe that for the moment, that's as good as it's going to get with those connections. Now it's just a matter of putting in the water lines. Don't want to forget that. That would be a real bummer. Oh, I did it wrong. Should I? I guess I'm just going to throw in another. I went one too far on that last one. So we've got our streets set up, we've got our water, we need to ensure our coverage of our medical is sufficient. Alright, that looks like good coverage, need to add in another crematorium. And fire protection, looks like we need to add in some more fire protection coverage as well. How are we looking? Pretty good. And police protection, same thing. Looks like we need to add some in. And looks like we're good again. All right, I believe I'm going to add in a couple of schools and we're even gonna add in a high school this time. There we go. All right, how are we doing on schools anyway? Looks like elementary school, we still have plenty of availability. Same with high school. University's getting kind of low, but I'm okay with that. That's gonna be just fine. So, in this area, everything is going to be low density, just uh, so it fits in with the rest of our neighborhood up here. And I'm going to add in some commercial here and there. Just little pockets so they can go and get some bubble gum at the corner store or whatever. And oh, then we're going to just add in a large amount of residential all at once without really being careful about where we put it. I'm not going to sit here and micromanage make sure they're all exactly four by four although I'd like to uh, it's just too time-consuming even just trying to get these uh, this commercial zoning to be four by four all over the place is somewhat trying. But we're getting it done. And I suppose we might as well do a big old piece of commercial right there. All right. The rest of this is going to be just a big old blob of low density residential zoning there we go just let her fly let a whole bunch of people come in there let the clock run a little bit 
kind of go around and look at the rest of our city while that's filling up, I suppose. So we still haven't really added any uh, commercial zoning in our big commercial district here, but we will eventually. We will need to eventually. Meteorologists have oh issued boy. a severe tornado warning for the area. Residents I really hope that doesn't hit anywhere that I actually any have available. any people, because that would stink. Please be way off in the boonies. Where are you gonna? Where are you gonna hit? Oh no, that has potential to come into the a city. A tornado has touched down in the area. Seek shelter immediately if any is available. It's gonna run over my tracks, isn't it? Oh, come on, don't run over my railroad tracks. Man, that's crazy looking. This is lasting a really long time. I was not expecting it to last this long. down in the area. Seek shelter immediately if any is available. All right. Looks like we're done with the tornado. I think I can just go in and repair this stuff without having to like yeah I can just repair it that's good okay so that's all repaired I think that's all the track th oh never mind got a whole bunch of track that needs to be repaired Okay, but I think that's the extent of the track now. We need to repair the road here. What exactly is it? It's a three lane highway. That's two lane, three lane highway. Okay. Is everybody moving again? Cool. All right. We have officially recovered from the crazy tornado. See, this is what I don't get. Look at this. I've got a whole bunch of this commercial zoning right here. And it's saying, oh man, we need, we need lots of, we need lots of commercial zoning. We're running out of commercial zoning. And yet at the same time, there's not enough people, but there's not any demand for people. It's very confusing. Very confusing, in my opinion. But hey, you know what? Who cares, right? Are these people or 
No, these are businesses. Do we have any people moving in? It's just like all the commercial zoning is moving in, but none of the people are. Kind of frustrating. Alright, well, let's see what our... How our traffic's doing. I always like to look. 83% with 130,000 folks. Not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. 83% traffic. Let's take a peek at our little area over here. We've got 6,500 pe people basically living without a connection to the main without a connection to the outside world basically all these people are living off of basically one two three four industrial areas and another industrial area that turns uh, all of these raw goods into saleable goods then ships them to our little 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 commercial area and then people buy it Everything's running pretty well at the moment. Pretty happy with it. Alright, well... I don't really know what to do about all this. Because I can't... If I just put in more commercial zoning... It's all just going to go out of business. Because there's not enough people. But there's no demand for people. So I don't really know what to do. So... That's going to do it for this video. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed it, join me again.